Well, Michael pays good money to house his family's priceless memories in a storage shed. But six months ago, squatters moved in and in desperation, he called us. I've had enough of these people and I really want them to leave. On Victoria's Phillip Island, Michael Scamina tidies the hall he rents to local community groups. In between the sweeping, spraying and wiping, Michael hangs a smoky shot of Uluru and thinks of the photographer who captured it, his older brother, Tony. An outstanding fellow that really didn't deserve to die so early in life and absolutely deserves to have his photography honoured and brought to the public. A meteorologist by trade, Tony was a skilled outback photographer who died suddenly while swimming laps in 2015. Tony's estate, including much of his photography, is kept in a storage shed next to Michael's Hall. But therein lies the problem with Michael's dream of opening a gallery. Well, there's two problems, actually. A pair of trespassers squatting in the shed who are refusing to leave. They keep excrement bu buckets outside of the shed and there's just toilet paper and items there and cloths and rags they're obviously using. Michael has been charged thousands in rent since the couple moved in. Police have said it's a civil matter and Michael's attempts to calmly ask the pair to leave haven't settled things. Look, it, it can be, it, well, generally it was um, abusive or standoffish. Um, sometimes nasty. Um, have they threatened you, Michael? Look, at times there have been threats made. Michael, your brother's work that means a lot to you is in that shed and you can't get access to it. How difficult is that? It's really compromising. You know, you do have some empathy for people and what they're experiencing, but on the other hand, you have to draw a line somewhere because it really eats away at me inside. I worry often at night time what's going on up there, what is going on with his stuff, what is going to happen to it. So can you take us to the door of this shed? Absolutely. And we'll go speak to them? Yes, let's try and do that now. OK, so just to run through the arrangements we've got in place, we've contacted police today. Yes. They know that we're going to be in the area. Yes. G'day, Quentin. Oh, oh, Seb good. Costello with the current affair. Yeah. How long have you been living here? Oh, six months or so. Yeah. This is obviously a storage shed that's yeah. being leased Excuse by me. Michael. Excuse me, do I need to call the police? You can call the police if you like. They know what's going on. And what is going on? None of your business, man. Yeah. Excuse me. I think you're here illegally, Quentin. Excuse me. Yeah. It's bolted shut. Um, you're going to break it if you keep doing that. Well, it's Michael's shed, isn't it, Quinton? No, it's so... not his shed. He leases it. So can you just f off and leave me alone? Well, he's not leasing it. He's lying. Why is he lying? Why would he ask us to come here and speak to you about it and ask you to leave the shed? Because he's if... a drama queen with a persecution mania. Right. Isn't it more likely that he's a guy leasing a shed that has squatters oh, in it and he wants can the squatters you out. just go away? This is your opportunity? Uh, yes, here? I need the police. Yes, Quinton called police. An interesting decision, given how the day would pan out. Off with your camera! Well, can we get access to, to the photography? To what photography? The photography that belongs to Michael. I want haven't got anything that belongs to Michael. Now you're accusing me of stealing. There's a lot of stuff in there that belongs to Michael. It's his storage shed. Over our shoulder, police arrived, and before turning to speak to them, we gave Quinton a final chance to explain. So what is your side of the story, Quinton? That you're a piece of you need to off! We later learned police had been on the phone. An emergency prosecutors' conference had been held in nearby Morwell, and the prosecutors' advice was clear. Michael was the leaseholder. Quinton and Amy were trespassing. And How asked. do you feel about that result? Really good. It was a win for everyone. Michael was getting access to his shed, and after our requests, police promised to get Quinton and Amy better support in the form of more suitable accommodation. They were loaded into the van and taken to the station, with Quinton waving goodbye in his own way.
Well, Michael, it's now just over three hours since we first knocked on the door. The two squatters have been driven away by police. What's the feeling? Feeling pretty happy about it and pretty happy that these people are actually going to get the help that they've been refusing for so long. Well, that's important. Police are taking them to emergency accommodation, which means the storage shed is now unoccupied. <laughs> you ready to take a look at it? Yep. All right. Can Not looking forward in? to it. OK. Yep. After months of not knowing, Michael could get to his family heirlooms. Well, here we are, Michael. Do you think it'd be like this? It's basically they've turned it into a, to a dwelling. I didn't expect it'd be this sort of permanent arrangement. This is not someone seeking refuge from the cold or the street. This is someone setting up a home. There's a heater, there's electricity, I mean... There's no power meant to be connected here. This could have gone up at any time, couldn't it? Yes, it could have. Going further in, the picture became clearer. They have a switchboard here and whatever they've done to get into the power here. Yeah, so this is the, the cable coming out of there. I think so. This was a situation that couldn't have gone on any longer. This is ridiculous. We've got a kitchenette, we've got a microwave, a dual stove. But down the back, Michael had spotted something far more important. Yes, here is one picture. But not just any picture, a self-portrait of his big brother, Tony. All oh, right. All right, we've got you back. I need to protect his work and he spent a lifetime at this. Thank you. No, well done. Thank you very much, Seven. Thank you to ACA. Well, Michael's now been able to have a good look through the shed and says while a few items are missing, he's happy to have access again.